up guys welcome back to my channel if you've been subscribed to me for a long time or been watching my videos for a long time like really long time you'll remember one of these videos i put out like i think two or three years ago it's my most viewed video and I've always kind of wanted to recreate it in a different way because I get still to this day so many comments on like people so confused over what I do. If you're familiar with this picture, this was a picture that um, I think Dan took of me a few years ago when I was living at my parents' house and it like went crazy over social media. Like celebrities were reposting it. Um, I wasn't really getting recognition for it, so I kind of started recreating the same type of picture with different outfits just so people knew it was me um, because my face obviously wasn't shown. But the main question was how I did my hair like that. I do it differently now. I usually use a curling wand, but the main way I used to curl my hair was with a straightener. And I feel like this is a lot more common nowadays, but back then, I don't think, I never really saw anyone doing this on YouTube. And so when I did it, for me and my sister, we used to do it all the time, so so simple for us. I used to do my friend's hair like that. It was just really, really simple. And when I made the video, for me, it was just easy because it's what I was like used to. But so many people were so confused saying it didn't work for them. Sometimes I go back to the video once in a while. It's got a few million views and I'm just like, man, I wish I explained it differently. And so you know what? I'm just going to redo this video. Now, this is a warning because this is going to be a very chit chatty video. If you don't like a lot of talking, then there's just really no point in watching this. I'm gonna get started. First thing you'll need is heat protectant. I already put it in my hair and I forgot to show it, but basically any heat protectant works. Um, Tresemme, you can literally get it at the drugstore. It doesn't matter. Just anything to kind of protect your hair from the heat. I try not to use heat on my hair often, but once in a while I really like to. I am shedding right now. What the heck? Second thing you'll need is a comb. I did this in my last video. Any kind of wide tooth comb will be good. Um, I don't really use a brush, but um, comb is fine. I mean, if you wanna use a brush, it's fine. It's up to you. But the way I comb my hair is I start from the bottom and I work my way up. That way I'm not like completely pulling on all the knots. I'm kind of just brushing them out. I shed like crazy. <laughs> I find hair everywhere. So on to the next step is getting your straightener. The type of straightener you use is actually really important and that's the one thing I didn't really talk about much in the last video because I use a really, really old straightener that my like mom had or something. I don't know, it was so old, I didn't even know the brand name. But a straightener that's small with the specific heating and specific plates makes a huge difference. So that is one thing that's really important. This straightener here is the one I use. I actually have the box right here so I could show you exactly. This is the box. It's the Single Pass Lux by T3. I love it. It's the, it says the number one professional straightening and styling icon. It's 25 millimeters. So that is how big it is. Um, I love that it's white and rose gold. I think it's so beautiful. The way you turn it on is here. You have the different heating settings, which is really important. A big reason I like specifically this brand is because they make their styling tools with tourmaline or tourmaline. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but basically the way that tourmaline works is that it doesn't actually damage your hair. It helps to make it look healthier and fuller and it's a lot more gentle on your hair, which is for me, you guys know how I feel very important because this is like a custom blend tourmaline plus ceramic plates um what it actually does is it helps to quickly close the cuticle of hair so that it retains moisture your hair looks shiny for a really long time just helps it overall keep it really healthy and um, since it is a custom blend it's like made for that specific reason also there are five adjustable heat settings so between i think it's 260 to 410 degrees um, so it's really customizable for what you want for whatever kind of hairstyle that you're going for i have it on the fourth right now so just keep in mind i have curly fine hair but i have a lot of hair like a lot of strands so it does get knotted very easily Go based off of your hair, you don't wanna go overboard. I'm really glad to be collaborating with T3 on this because they're able to offer a giveaway for you guys. So I'll have a link listed down below which you guys could check out and you can enter with that link. So definitely go check it out, go click the link. And if you do end up getting the exact same one, let me know because that's pretty cool. And if you recreate this hairstyle, let me know. Okay, I'm like so rambly. Basically what I do is I just kind of section off my hair and start curling. So recently I've been taking like half of my hair and I'll take one of these clips that actually comes with the straightener. And I just 
set my hair back in a really cute way. Then I'll start with a piece that's like closer to you guys, like rather than the back of my head. So the first thing I do is straighten. Oh my gosh, this is like memories. Straighten till around like a quarter down, then twist and pull. Sometimes I'll do it like, if I don't think the top is nice, I'll redo that part. There, you have a curl. So I'm gonna show you. Also, the sections I use are kind of all over the place, but I typically do curl that's closest to my face, I curl away, and then I alternate. Just straighten the top, curl towards, go down. Okay. I'm trying to think of ways where I could show you guys like really detailed so you'll know exactly what to do. Kind of straighten out the little curls I got on top. Sometimes I go halfway. Twist, see how it's twisted? Then I pull down. Make sure you got a good grip on it. All the way down and there's a curl. Everyone's hair is different, remember that? So if it doesn't look exactly like mine, you can always go over the curl again. Just try to keep it the same direction. Literally curling around the barrel and pulling it down. And because the straightener is so good, it's like really smooth on my hair. And see how like the bottoms aren't completely curled? I just throw that back onto the next part. We'll do here. Bottom section is where you can be like the most messy because you don't really see. It's more like the top where you really want to focus on the straightening part, especially if you have curly hair. Are you seeing this? This hairstyle is super quick, super easy. Does not take long to do. and it looks really cute. Sometimes I'll go over the back pieces near the roots just to make sure they're curl, uh, straightened, not curled. <laughs> then I take this, clip the back of my hair. Oh, perfect timing. Take this part down. And this is the part where you try and figure out where you want your part. So I sometimes like middle part, I sometimes like side part but um, I think for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do side part, but not total side, like here. Use my finger, and I'll start with this side because there's less hair. Make sure it's combed, no knots. Okay, now see how I missed a little section at the bottom here? I don't know if you could see that. Can you see that? If you can't, it's like a little frayed. So I literally am gonna go over that like last curl and just recurl that. So it's all uniform. Hopefully, here, I'll put it against the couch. You could see the curl, right? And what's great about curling with a straightener is that it's not too ringlety. And also the way that it falls looks like just such a loose curl, so effortless and just so pretty. I also don't have very thick hair, so for me it's super easy to do this. Again, it depends on your hair, depends on the type of curl you want. If you want looser curls, take bigger sections of hair. I'm taking like an inch section. I really hope you guys could see this. There. It also looks great on people with short hair because you can make it look so nice if you just do like little curls like this and then you put texturizing spray and you kind of mess it up. I think that look is so nice. I still have friends to this day that look at that video and try to recreate the curls and it just doesn't work for them. And then I watch them do it and it's because their hand positions are all weird. Like literally hold the straightener like this. You guys know how to straighten your hair, right? And then when you get to around halfway, wherever you want to start the curl, 
just twist it, like not all the way around, like twist it once and pull. If it helps to use both your hands like that, you could do that. Just keep pulling. Also looks really nice if you have layers in your hair because then you get kind of curls all over. Whereas right now my hair is kind of all one length, so it might look a little weird, but I still really like it. The pieces surrounding your face are the most important because that's what most people see when they talk to you, obviously. You can worry about the back after. Now this section, what I do is kind of straighten up. I go backwards like that. See? Then I take my hair out. Mess around with it a bit. So I could definitely see how some pieces like here are a bit too straight. So I'm gonna go back in with a straightener and fix those pieces that are like on top. But as you can see, this is how it turns out. So you got like some straightness on top, some nice cool, cools? <laughs> Curls on the bottom. And eventually they will end up falling down because that's just what curls typically do. But they're not as tight as like you'd get with other like curling wands and stuff. So I hope this video was a lot more like informative, a lot more straightforward. Again, I'm so sorry if you can't do it right away. Seriously, keep trying, don't give up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll definitely try and answer them as detailed as possible. But honestly, the key to this is practice. And um, yeah, I really like the way that it's like straight curl and then a little bit straight at the bottom. You get that nice wave. Nice loose curl and yeah, it's pretty for any kind of occasion. And they last a freaking long time because it's with a straightener. Don't forget that I love you guys so much. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll have a link listed down below as well as all my social links, my vlogging channel with Daniel, just self promo time, but I love you and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Bye.